Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Saturday. Happy New Year's Eve. It's Daryl here. It's bright and freaking early. It's 3.42 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. Man, when it gets to New Year's Eve, I don't know if any of you guys feel like this. Any of you, I shouldn't say guys, any of you peoples that get, feel like this. But at my age and everything I've been through, when it gets to New Year's Eve, it's like, well, I made it through one more year. I'm alive. I'm still alive. I made it through 2022. And then I kind of steal myself for the next year uh honestly i, I I'm, I'm i'm willing to bet a lot of you probably feel like that too all right today's video it's going to be kind of I, I guess it's going to be a heart to heart i just want i want to share my morning with you i want to share my thought process and i want to talk about a comment i get now when i first started this channel i i tried to make it sound like you know the comments don't matter all that much to me but honestly when i read your comments good bad otherwise uh, positive negative pessimistic optimistic whatever they go right to my heart they do they stick in my head they stick with me all day into the next day for weeks so, and uh i read one i just read i read one yesterday and bam it hit me the person asked, the person said basically that, I'm going to watch your videos one way or the other, but he said that, or she, I, I didn't even notice, uh, said that you seem to be doing more recovery videos. Where, you know, you haven't done a lot of political videos lately. He says, says I'll see, I'll keep watching, but, you know, I'm just wondering, you know, are you going to keep doing political videos? And I, I, I love this comment. This is exactly what I want to hear. You know, uh, I, I, I commented to him that I, I enjoy talking about both equally. And it's usually just wherever my heart is in the morning, what I feel strongly about. And I'm hoping if I speak from my heart and, I, you know, what I'm feeling, people will see that. People will feel it. And it'll get views and it'll touch people. That's my hopes. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. Uh, this morning, let me let me just start w where I started. I came across, so I was looking for political videos this morning because I, I it's been a while and I wanted to do, I was looking at Donald Trump and I got to be honest with you guys, Donald Trump is just old news. Even he bores me. Uh, honestly, he, he just looks like a, a big loser right now. He, he does. I, I the, his, his views, when I do a, a video about Donald Trump, I mean, he's that, you know, there's a lot of politics. It doesn't have to be Donald Trump, but that's just, you know, that's basically kind of how the channel started. And, uh, you know, he, he's just pathetic with the tax. You know, am I going to talk about the taxes? He's screwed. We all knew what was going to be in there, and it was. You know, he, he's a, success, a very successful businessman, yet he, you know, he's had losses. You know, he, he's a lying, conniving POS. That, that We all knew it. You know, or am I going to talk about the NFT cards? I, I did that already. They're a joke. What am I going to talk about? You know, uh, Matt Gates, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene. There's not a whole, there's not a whole lot going on. So I'm looking through the news and I'm I'm trying to find something political to talk about. And I come across something about horoscope signs. Stick with me here. This isn't really about horoscopes. And it said, what horoscopes? Uh, uh, what four signs avoid? Uh, being out like this, being out uh, in the in public, and one of them was Aquarius, which is what I am. And it it it, it immediately, so I went right to Aquarius and read it. And the other one was Virgo, Cancer. I can't remember. I'll put the link down below. And so I went to that, and it, it described Aquarius as lone wolf. So I was like, wow, that hits the nail right on the head. Because that's always how what I've identified with. So I, 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 I've always identified as being a Sigma, Sigma male. I'll put a link down to that down below too. Alpha and Sigma are, are kind of equal up here. Uh, and then there's Beta, Sigma, uh, Beta, uh, uh, Omega. Omega is the... Uh, uh, cellar dweller, uh, the... The, the outcast, uh, I, I guess. And I'm going to talk about that too in a second. So I, I started thinking about all this um, and the hierarchy. And what came to mind was people on YouTube. Some of the people you guys watch. Wes Watson, who is uh, out of prison, built big guy. Uh, and he, he's very a uh, motivational speaker. I thought of Bo the Fifth Column. Now, most of you that watch my channel know who Bo the Fifth Column is. 
I thought of this guy that I've been talking about for the last two days, Andrew Tate. I thought about Nick Fuentes. And I thought about this one other guy that I guarantee you haven't heard of, but he keeps popping up. Every time I turn on my camp, my, my phone uh, on YouTube, this guy pops up. I don't know why. He only gets one view per video. And if you look at him, you'll kind of, I just talked about Omegas. And my heart goes out to this guy. I, I want to put my hand out to this guy. I want to help him. I, I want to... I want to watch his videos just so there's more than one freaking view. I want to talk about all these. So I started thinking about this. I started thinking about the difference between the people that watch Nick Fuente's videos, people that follow Andrew Tate, some of the wise guys that comp probably commented on my last couple of videos that are big followers of Andrew Tate and the right and the, the misogynistic uh, view of women and all that. And I started thinking about the people that watch that stuff, Nick Fuentes and Andrew Tate, versus the people that watch more Wes. Wes Watson's kind of in a class by himself, or Bo the Fifth Column. And this is what I, this is honestly what I feel. I feel that Bo the Fifth Column and Wes Watson are doing positive work. They're, I think the people that watch these two people don't consider, aren't, aren't betas. They look at both the fifth column and Wes Watson as peers, as maybe as mentors, but they give positive feedback to the people that watch them. Wes Watson is how to live a positive life, how to build your family, how to lead your family, how to uh, build. It's, it's mostly about physical building your body, being strong physically and mentally and not getting in trouble and ending up in prison, because that's where he spent 10 years of his life. Uh, and Bo the Fifth Column is, uh, and, and another one in the class all by himself, I see him as, as wanting to share his social, social justice views. And I love the part, uh, Bo the Fifth Column encourages other people to like open up uh, community stores and all the other stuff. He, I, I can't offhand. I can't think of it, but a lot of stuff he encourages the people watching him to to do things that are good for the community, good for people, good for the country, good for the world, good for their their family. Positive influence. And I think of the people that watch those those people. But then I think of the people. And like I said, I don't consider. It, they don't seem like betas. You know, and on it, to be honest with you guys, Bo the Fifth Column and Bo, uh, Wes Watson, both, I don't know what they consider themselves, but they kind of seem like Sigmas, like me. I don't know if they would consider themselves Alphas. They kind of seem like lone wolves. You know, to me, being a lone wolf or a Sigma, like I've said this before, you know, look, I, I, I'm, I'm sharing my experiences with you. I'm not telling you what to do. Wes Watson kind of is more of an Alpha. Where uh, both have come, I kind of think he might be a sigma. You know, when I talk, I tell you guys, look, you know, I'm going to share my my experiences with you. What you do with that is up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you what you should do. You know, that's that's you know, the ball's in your court. I'm going to give you information on things that work for me and things that didn't work for me. And what you do with that, that's your business. You know, I'm not going to tell you what you should or shouldn't do. It might not be right for you. You might not want to listen. If you're not if you're not at a point where you want to listen to it, it's not going to do any good. I did that with the God video. Um, okay, so going back now to Andrew Tate and like people like Nick Fuentes. Now, honestly, I, maybe it's because I'm not a right winger, but when I look at the people that watch these guys, these guys are mainly negative influence they give you a target somewhere to put your hate and anger and that's that's an easy thing to do uh, there's a lot of people you know hate is just is hate is fear that's all it is you know when somebody's angry it's it's being scared you know and you could tell where somebody fits in the higher hierarchy would if they agree with that or not you know a lot of people like a lot, a lot of the people on the right if you i notice this we'll have a scowl you know, look at Donald Trump. Oh, I, I can't even do the frown. You know, always got a frown, the scowl. You know, we're both the fifth column, Wes Watson, me. It, it's a positive, happy influence. It's not about fear and hate and giving you a target. Um, 
looking at the people that follow. I think this is getting to the point where why I kind of pick on Nick Fuentes and Andrew Tate. Because I feel that the people that watch them are being taken advantage of. I really do. I feel they, they, they have a beta mentality. And they're just looking for someone to, to give them a target. To, to where to put their, their hate and their blame for all everything that they can't understand or that scares them in life. That's, that's what I see. Um, I'm sure they probably think the same thing. You know, when they think about a lib, a lib or a liberal or a libtard, uh, as they like to call us. I don't know if that's still in. Uh, they, they, I, I've heard them call us sheep or snowflakes. And believe, believe me, one thing I'm not is a sheep. Uh, like I said, I, I've never considered myself a leader or a follower. I just, I just blaze my own path, which is pretty much a sigma. I saw a rec recently. I was watching a real, uh, uh, real life video. Like uh, it, it was Ghost Hunters actually, and there's a guy on there named Daryl, and he's a big beefy guy with a beard and a backwards baseball cap. And he, the first thing he said, he's describing himself, and he goes, "I'm a natural born leader." You know, and I like I like this guy up till you know his name's Daryl. Of course, I I kind of liked him, you know. But you know, somebody a guy my age or in his forties wearing a baseball cap always makes me think they're just hiding their their lack of hair. You know, it looks. I think anybody wearing their forties or fifties wearing a baseball cap looks kind of silly. But then when he said that, I thought about that. You know, I'm a natural born leader. You know, how do you, you know, do you really, do you remember when you were five years old or eight years old that you've always considered, your, I think natural born leaders don't really consider them natural born leaders. They're just people that do what has to be done. It's a natural thing. It's not something that they go around saying, I'm the, you know, I, they, they consider, you know, people, when you, a leader leads by example, not by claiming to be a leader, uh, people just, it's a natural instinct to, to follow somebody that, that has good instincts. It's a natural thing. And uh, that had turned me off when I saw this guy, Daryl, say that uh, he's a nat he's a nat claim he's a natural born leader. It's, it reminds me a lot of the stuff the people on the right you know, claim to be, you know. Uh, and I think that's why I pick on Andrew Tate and people like Nick Fuentes, because I, I feel like they're taking advantage of people that just are angry and don't know where to put their anger or their fear. And it, it's easy to sell to those people. You know, I could come on here and I, I could, I, if I switched my whole, my whole modus operandi and I came on here and started spewing that stuff, that hate filled stuff about women or minorities or whatever, I guarantee you, I guarantee you I'd get 50,000 views, 100,000 views. But there's no way I could live with myself if I ever did that. All right, just some thoughts. I see him running long. I, I know I skipped around today. Uh, I'll put the links down below about sigmas and alphas and links to Wes Watson and both the fifth column. I'm going to do another video later today once I, I get my, my politics uh, in order. You guys, oh, and it's New Year's Eve. Last year, I did a video on Miley Cyrus. It, it got a lot of views, too. Uh, she had a wardrobe malfunction. I'll probably post that again on my community page. It, it did really well. You guys, I'll see you shortly. Have a good Saturday.